Hey everybody. So in this video, they want us to solve the following three variable systems of equations, and they want us to give our answer as a coordinate point. So here we have our systems of equations. Now, all the traditional methods that you know, uh, elimination, substitution, graphing, we only learn those with two variables. So we're going to use that same knowledge, but we're going to use it to solve three variables. So one thing that I want to do is I want to pair these equations. So I don't really want to work with three equations just yet. Let's work with two equations and see if we can eliminate a variable. That way we're only working with two variables, like an x and a y, or a y and a z, or an x and a z. And then our traditional norms of solving for x or y will work, something like substitution or elimination. So let's rewrite these, and I'll say negative 3x minus 3y plus 2z equals 10, and then we have negative 5x minus y plus 5z equals 6. Now, out of this system, we want to pick a variable to eliminate. So it doesn't matter which one you eliminate. We just want to eliminate one. So here, it looks like it would be the easiest to eliminate the y, because all I would have to do is multiply the bottom by negative 3. That would make this negative 1 turn to a positive 3, and then my y's would cancel. So let's try that approach. Let's multiply the bottom by negative 3. Now, when we do this, this system is not going to change. So I'll go ahead and rewrite it. So that's going to be negative 3 minus 3y plus 2z equals 10. And now I'm going to take this negative 3 and distribute it to each term. So that's going to give me 15x plus 3y minus 15z equals negative 18. Now these y's cancel. And what I'm left with is 12x minus 13z equals negative 8. Now, we know how to solve systems of equations with two variables. So this is actually a much nicer equation to work with than one of the three original. So since I paired the first two and got rid of the y variable, let's pair the bottom two, and we'll also get rid of the y variable. This way, we'll have two equations with just x and z. So I'll take those two and write them over here. So I have negative 5x minus y plus 5z equals 6. And I have 3x plus 5y minus 6z equals 4. Now, looking at these two, don't try to eliminate any other variable than the one you did over here first. So because I paired the first two and I eliminated the y variable, when I pair the bottom two, I must eliminate the y variable because the goal is you want two equations that have the same two variables. That way our traditional norms like substitution and elimination will work to solve for a variable. So since I eliminated the y's here, I'm also going to eliminate the y variables here. So I'll have to multiply this top equation by 5. So here, I'll take this and I'll multiply by 5. So that's going to give me negative 25 minus 5y plus 25z equals 30. And now the bottom stays the same with 3x plus 5y minus 6z equals 4. And now the y's cancel. So this is going to give me negative 22x plus 19z, and that's going to equal 34. Now I have two equations 
that had the same two variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two to write a new system and solve for either x or z. So I have 12x minus 13z equals negative 8. And I have negative 22x plus 19z equals 34. Now, here I'm going to use substitution or elimination to solve for either x or z. So this does not look to be like a very friendly example because we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by two different numbers. One thing that is convenient is that the signs for x and z are both opposite, so we can multiply by positive numbers. So let's get rid of the z's. To do that, I'll multiply the top by 19, and I'll multiply the bottom by 13. This way, the z's will cancel. So we'll use the calculator for this, and we'll say 12 times 19 is 228. Okay. 13 times 19 is 247. And negative 8 times 19 is negative 152. And now we'll multiply the bottom by 13. So negative 22 times 13 is negative 286. 19 times 13 is 247. And 34 times 13 is 442. Now my z's will cancel, and I'll subtract my x's. So 228 minus 286 is going to give me negative 58. So here I have negative 58x equals negative 152 plus 442, which is 290. And 290 divided by 58 is going to give me 5. So x here is negative 5. Now that I know the value of x, I can use that and substitute into one of these to find the value of z. So I will substitute x into this top equation here. So I have 12x minus 13z equals negative 8. Now I'll take my negative 5 and substitute it in for x. So I have 12 times negative 5 minus 13z equals negative 8. This gives me negative 60 minus 13z equals negative 8. I'll add 60 to both sides. So negative 8 plus 60 is 52. And 52 divided by 13 is 4. So z here is negative 4. Now we have solutions for x and z. Now we can take these values and substitute them into either of the three original equations to find the value for y. So let's use the second equation here. So that is negative 5x minus y plus 5z equals 6. And we'll take our values for x and our values for z and substitute them in here. So this is negative 5 times negative 5 minus y plus 5 times negative 4, and that will give us 6. So here we have 25 minus y minus 20 equals 6. So 25 minus 20 is 5. So here I have 5 minus y equals 
6, and I'll subtract 5, and I'll get negative y equals 1, and I'll divide by negative 1, and y here is negative 1. So here I have found all of my solutions for x, z, and y. Now remember, they said here they want your solution expressed as a coordinate, x, y, z. So we'll write our solution as a coordinate, negative 5, negative 1, negative 4. And there's our answer. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.